How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics. It's definitely been a while since we've done any ball shells on the channel. I think the last ones I did were by that Pyro Pirate brand. Anyway, these are the shooter shells by Stargate Fireworks and you're gonna get six ball shells. They don't do anything that is pictured here. These effects are way too big for consumer fireworks. But let's open it up and take a look at the shells. So this is what they look like. I'm gonna give them the old push test. And I actually had a bunch of people comment that doing this doesn't always matter. And that's true to a degree. If they use a plastic casing instead of cardboard, pushing on it won't do anything because it's going to be pretty solid. However, if this was a cardboard shell, you'd be able to push it in with your thumb and dent it if it was fake. But I can tell you just from how much it weighs, how solid this shell is, even if it is plastic, this is a real ball shell. And actually, we're just going to pretend that this is a real ball shell for now because we'll never know until we go shoot them off. But just from my experience alone, you know, I do a lot of fireworks and just from my experience, pretty sure it's a real one. So that's what they look like. You'll notice there's a number system on here. So we've got number four, but I think that is more for the manufacturer and not for the consumer because if we look at the box, there isn't anything to use that number for. Like sometimes these will have a number next to them and then you just match that up, you know, that number with like this one would be shell four, but these pictures aren't even one four fireworks. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're not going to be using this tube, but we are going to take a look at it. This is a cardboard tube, so way cheaper to make than fiberglass. And something like this is pretty common among ball shell kits. You'll notice they use clay down there for the plug instead of concrete. So that is why I do not recommend firing canister shells out of tubes like this. Even though they fit, doesn't mean you're supposed to shoot them out of a cardboard tube. But you guys know me, I just avoid the problem altogether and use a mortar rack with HDPE tubes. You're never going to have a problem with these, even if the shell blows in the tube. It expands, whereas cardboard explodes and fiberglass also explodes. These do not, these expand. And briefly, I just want to make a comment about the milk crate rack setup. Number one, I don't really recommend that you do this at home. The milk crate is not the safest way. You'd be better off shooting these with HDPE tubes, but in a wooden professional rack for 1-4 shells. I've been doing it with milk crate racks just because it's easier for me to haul around and I can fire a whole 24 kit of shells out of this thing, no problem. You just leave one tube empty. Now with that, I will emphasize this. I don't recommend that you use this. However, that being said, I have never had an issue with a milk crate rack in my life and I have done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of canister shells, ball shells, in firework displays, on and off camera and I've never had an issue with a milk crate rack ever. So without any further ado, let's get all of these bad boys loaded into this rack. We're just gonna use this row plus one tube and we'll go shoot them off. All right, guys, here goes the shooter shells by Stargate Fireworks. You can see I used a bit of a different fusing technique on these. Let's see how well it works. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Those are breaking about the same size as no abs. Look at this little ember floating down here. Wow. 10 out of 10, I'm definitely getting cases of those. Yeah. Yeah. 